So by now you've probably heard about TubeBuddy and all its great features. If you haven't heard about TubeBuddy, then you're in luck because you're watching this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install TubeBuddy and start using it to grow your YouTube channel. And by the way, you can get started completely free. So be sure to stick around for this entire video because some of the best YouTubers out there are leveraging TubeBuddy to help their channels grow. Content here on Creator Fundamentals is made possible by our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Soundstripe. Soundstripe offers thousands of high quality audio tracks to take your content to the next level. And now Soundstripe has leveled up their service once again. Introducing Soundstripe Video. Soundstripe Video offers over 70,000 HD, 4K, and even 5K video clips to take your content to the next level. And with the introduction of video, Soundstripe now offers music, sound effects, and videos on one convenient platform. And with their curated video playlists, you're now able to find exactly what you're looking for in far less time. And for a limited time, you can use the promo code CREATORCREW to save 20% off your subscription. Now is the time to go pro with Soundstripe. All right, so I've logged into a test account so I can show you exactly what this looks like from a fresh perspective. I personally have been using TubeBuddy for years, so my account's not a good represented, uh, representation of what it is that you want to see. So here we go. We're going to go to trytubebuddy.today and hit enter. That's going to bring us to a login screen. Uh, we can log in with Google, so your Gmail account. Presumably you have one of those if you, in fact, have a YouTube channel. So we're going to go to sign in with Google. We're going to pick Joe the YouTuber. And this is what you see when you arrive in TubeBuddy for the first time. So from here, we're going to add our channel. Again, going back into the Google and then picking our brand channel here, which of course doesn't have any content on it yet, but that's cool. We're just showing you how this TubeBuddy process works and how to get through it and get it set up on your account. All right, so once you've logged into TubeBuddy, you are going to see this screen. Now, TubeBuddy's tools exist in a couple different places. One is their website that you see here. The other is actually as a plugin that you can get through Chrome. So I've made it easy for you. If you just go to install tubebuddy.com that'll bring you to the chrome page and then you can click add to chrome to get that added to your browser now this is available in a variety of different browsers i use chrome so that's what we're doing you see that it gives you this pop-up that says add extension so we're going to go ahead and add the extension and let it do its thing and now it tells us in the upper right hand corner that tubebuddy has been added to chrome manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the tool menu but now we see that here we have the tubebuddy but it's grayed out it's grayed out when you're not logged in so what we're going to do is go back to our youtube channel we're going to refresh this uh, just to make sure everything shows up and you'll see now we have part of that TubeBuddy plugin listed on the screen, but it says you need to sign in. So you can actually click here and click agree to terms and sign in to YouTube. And then you're going to pick that same account and your same channel and hit allow. And if you select the wrong channel, if you happen to have multiples, it'll tell you. All right. So if you get that error message, it's because you're trying to log into TubeBuddy under one of your channels, but you are actually on your other channel. So in the upper right hand corner, if you only have one channel, you're not going to see this. But if you happen to have a user channel and you created a new YouTube channel as your brand channel, then you may have to come in here and click on switch account because you can have multiple YouTube channels under the same Google login. So we're gonna click on switch account and we'll see that I'm logged in as Joey the YouTuber here, but I also have this brand channel that I created. So we need to select that first and be on the right channel. And then we'll go to my channel just to show that we are in fact on the right channel. And then you can see that we are, we're seeing everything that we, we should be seeing because now we're logged in and we're on the channel that matches. So this is where you're going to see a variety of tools. You can see here, there's messages, helpful information, upcoming events and trainings from TubeBuddy you will find here. You have a list of tools here where it goes through and shows you things like the Keyword Explorer. We're gonna cover that in just a minute. The Click Magnet, which is a fantastic feature with the uh, Legend Package, I believe. And thumbnail generator. When I first started YouTube, I did all my uh, thumbnails in TubeBuddy. So you can definitely do that. Plus you have a health report that's available at some additional 
uh, paid tiers as well. Also in the um, legend package, we have AB testing, super powerful, lets you compare two different thumbnails and TubeBuddy will actually alternate them automatically and allow you to see which one is performing better by giving you real data from YouTube to see how people are responding. So that's super helpful and a ton of other helpful information. But I want to show you what this looks like when you are actually working on a video. So we're going to upload a test video. So as we can see here, we have the TubeBuddy dropdown. Now this allows you to go into SEO Studio. SEO Studio is actually a feature that you'll get with the pro level package. So if you want to experience that and go through and use TubeBuddy to actually help uh, optimize your SEO, search engine optimization, then you can definitely try the pro plan. And again, a lot of discounts available. You can also use my promo code Dan's buddy to save 20% on your upgrade as well. So something to consider, but I really want to show you, we're going to skip all this for now. Just make sure this is not made for kids. I want to show you the features. You can see right here, we have tag tools. All of these little TubeBuddy icons are additional tools that pop up that are integrated into YouTube's interface because you've installed the TubeBuddy plugin. Super powerful stuff. And with the free level, you're going to get some of the uh, suggested keywords depending on what it is that you're looking for. And then as you upgrade, you can get access to additional features as well. But there's some cool stuff in the free version. Definitely take it for a ride, understand what it can do for you, and then decide whether it makes sense for you to upgrade to one of the uh, paid tiers. I want to make sure everything here is good. We're going to hit next and next, and we're going to keep this private and we're going to hit save. I just want to show you on the video screen itself what it looks like. Probably shouldn't have chose such a big video, but we'll jump in there and I'll show you what uh, what you can do with this. All right, so here we are in YouTube Studio. You'll see that we're on the content section, formerly the video list, and all the videos that you've uploaded to your channel will appear here. We see this one we have, which is a presentation at People of Video by Ross Brand, but we want to click on the pencil to go into the edit section. Now, here's where you're going to see Tube Buddies tools pop up for you. We have a variety of different menus. You'll see here we have some different features that you can use, some of which are paid, some of which you can use with the free version. And because we're doing this for the first time and this channel has not been verified, you'll see that it says your channel does not have custom thumbnails enabled, which is something that you definitely need to do on your YouTube channel. So you want to make sure you take care of that. All right. So wanted to show you real quick, we can create custom thumbnails right within the interface here. You can choose to grab a still frame, pick a solid color or image or existing thumbnail. We're actually going to pick a solid color just to do as a test to show you exactly how this works. We'll pick that solid color. Then we can go into images. You have the ability to upload an image. I've uploaded one here just as a test and you can add text. You can select the color of the text. You can make it bold. You have a variety of text uh, options to choose from. We're going to leave it here just to show you what it looks like. And then when you select it, you can click on it and resize it and do all the things you need to do. There are emojis available, so you can add a little bit of interest to your thumbnail. And you have a variety of options here as well. You can layer stuff. So if you have this up here and you want it behind the text, you can go push it behind the text. And you have some additional features as well. We're not going to jump into the full uh, ability to create your thumbnail here, but I just wanted to show you that is one of the free features that's built into the TubeBuddy plugin. Also, as we mentioned, you do have access to the top three or three of the search terms with the Keyword Explorer down here and getting proper uh, keyword phrases for your video. You can also click on Keyword Explorer, and this is going to help you understand exactly how particular search terms are being searched by real people on YouTube. So say we wanted to bake a cake, we go how to bake, and you'll start to see a bunch of suggestions of things people are actually looking for. So in this case, we can click on how to bake a cake and we will see exactly how our channel fares. All right, so with the free version, you have this unweighted option, which takes a general look at a keyword phrase on YouTube and determines what kind of traffic is out there and how what the competition looks like. If you upgrade to the pro plan, you can get into weighted where it takes into account your particular channel to help you understand how your channel is going to compete with some of the other uh, competition that's out there. But it does give you the ability to see these keyword phrases, to see other 
other keyword phrases. And one of the things, just a quick tip, that when you're searching for something, when you go into these longer keyword phrases, it might decrease the audience size and allow you to kind of drive in and get a better understanding of what you could actually rank for. So some great features with the free version, also a ton of great features with some of the upgraded versions. So you can definitely check them out and decide what works for you. All right, so another cool feature that comes with the free version of TubeBuddy that I wanted to share with you is the ability to have a secondary upload default. Now, if you go into settings in the lower right-hand corner and then click on upload defaults, this is where you're gonna enter information on your channel that always populates every time you upload a new video. So if for example, we want our videos to be unlisted or private when we initially upload them so we can make sure everything looks perfect before we publish them. So we can set that in upload defaults. Plus if you have affiliate links or other things that you want to be in all of your uh, descriptions, you can put that here as well. And any tags that you reuse, which I don't really think you need to do that, but description and uh, visibility is also a good one. You can come in here in advanced settings and say, hey, I'm always going to be publishing in English. We're gonna find English in the mix and standard YouTube license is in effect. And our category in my case is always gonna be education. So you can do that, you can click save and then that will always populate that information. All right, so now the cool thing with TubeBuddy is when you go back in to upload defaults and I'm just doing this because YouTube's being a little flaky. I wanna make sure we can see everything. You see you have the option to add new and I'm gonna show you where this comes in helpful and where I've used it in the past but you can now click and create a secondary uh, profile and I'll show you the way that I've used it which is to create a live stream option that has different uh, information in it. So maybe you want a different description for all your live streams and you don't wanna to have to enter it in and it's gonna be consistent across them. Also, because you're scheduling live streams, you want them to be public right away because that's going to show them on your channel up until their scheduled uh, live time. So you can definitely do that in here. You can set up a secondary live stream. We'll call this live stream just so we can see the difference and we can click save. So your, pro your new profile was successfully created and now you have the option to either get to your YouTube version or the live stream version and you can do it simply by choosing one of these options on your video to populate all of that information. So super helpful as well. A lot of great tools here with the free version of TubeBuddy. So definitely get it installed, test it out, take advantage of these features and then determine when the time is right to upgrade to one of the paid tiers to give you even additional features that are going to help you crush it here on YouTube. And hey, don't let the learning stop here. I'm going to put a playlist on screen now full of YouTube feature tutorials that'll help you level up, grow your channel, develop an audience and income around your content. Also below me, that circle, that's a subscribe button. Hover over it, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.